Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Plays Games, welcome to an Ark Survival Evolved update video. Today we are talking about extinction, heavy speculation in this video, be warned. But there is some really good pointers about what's going to be happening this summer with the final DLC for Ark Survival Evolved. If you don't know, there's one more piece of DLC to come. A load of information has come from the French forums where they had a French media event this week or last week where Jack was in attendance, the community manager. And during that time, they've obviously spoke to Jack and got a tiny bit of information out of him or someone else maybe there, I'm not too sure. And they've revealed it in this form. So I got alerted to this by someone on Discord. Big shout out to Anthony B, appreciate it for that bro. And it's pretty much this post here has been lifted straight from the website. So we're gonna go straight to the website though and read it up exactly what it says. All the latest information on extinction. On the occasion of the event, Cock Media, I kid you not, that is the name of the French media group that had this ARC day. They had loads of people come and take a look at Aberration, uh, try it, just talk about ARC in general, just like a celebration day. We told you about some things that would happen shortly with regards to the next DLC under the name ARC Extinction. In mid-June, an event under the theme of archaeology will be set up on all platforms. This event will tell you more about the new DLC, Extinction. You will have the chance to see images and gameplay phases of the game also in mid-June. Finally, there will be events all summer regarding Extinction on all platforms and an exit date will be announced. So that is pretty big news guys, but nothing really groundbreaking and it's pretty obvious they're going to reveal something at E3. Now, as far as I'm aware, they're not exhibiting at E3 this year. Wildcard haven't got any sort of booth going at E3. As far as I'm aware, I've gone through the E3 uh, exhibitors before and I couldn't find any of them there. I am going to be in LA, not for E3, but for something else. I've been invited to go and take a look at a game in development. So I'm super hyped, super excited about going to LA, and I will be around at the same time as E3. It's a real shame I haven't got a ticket. I'd love to get some more information. But with the Arc Devs maybe not there, I probably wouldn't get that much info. But yeah, it looks like we're going to get an E3 reveal trailer. So that's pretty much, I think, what most people were expecting. What is new to me is this idea that we're going to have to wait the whole of the summertime and maybe not even get the DLC this summer. If they're talking about releasing events throughout the summer, then yeah, we might not get to the very end. Now normally with aberration and with other stuff they've done they've announced things like the mysterious mysteries every week and they've hyped things up for about six or seven weeks way in advance maybe even longer like eight or nine weeks of course if you followed arc all the way through you know that the scorched earth dlc was dropped out of the blue only a few people kind of knew about it and we'd done a few videos just before and saying it was coming but really, it was a stealth launch. Now, some people have been surmising that the servers that are going under, if you don't know, they're getting rid of a bunch of legacy servers on Xbox One, PS4 and PC on the 12th of June. Now, that's when E3 starts. So imagine if it was a stealth launch. Imagine if this was wrong and literally they just launched a DLC on the 12th of June. They needed them legacy servers to set up for the new servers. I don't think that's going to happen. I still think they're probably better off building up the hype again. It's just what Wildcard do. They love building up that hype train. So for them to just stealth drop it on E3, I just don't think that's a good move. I really do think this is probably going to be right. They're going to be having these events. Again, it is a bit interesting, this archaeology theme, because archaeology, you're digging up fossils and you're digging up bones. We've also got Ark, um, not Ark, the Jurassic Park new film coming out as well. So there's going to be lots and lots of ways that Wildcard benefit from tying into this. But the archaeology thing, yeah, is interesting. Imagine if lots of the creatures are like super hybrids. Imagine if, imagine if they are like all skeletal. I mean, that would be a bit, I think that would be a bit too boring. Yeah, we've had skeletal skins before, so they couldn't all be there. But imagine if there were some alpha ones that you could dig up, or if it was like an alpha boss. Now, this is huge speculation. I'm just going along with it. I told you guys at the start. So, you know, if you don't like that type of thing, then get out of here. But everyone is excited. Ark has been, it has been slow. It's been, I don't want to hate saying the word dying, but it's been dying. Ratbags aren't playing it. You guys ain't playing it. You guys ain't watching as much content on it. You guys are telling me you're playing other games. And so we need something to keep Ark going a little bit longer. And I really hope this DLC works out. All we know from the past is that a couple of the devs team have said it's going to have mechanics in it we've never seen before. And that's about it. That's the only kind of real relevant information that I've managed to get about the future of the DLC. 
It does say there's going to be events all summer, so that ties in with what this summer usually means. You've got E3, and then there's a bunch of other games expos as well. You've got Gamescom as well, that's going to be there, so I imagine they'll have some sort of presence. We've got one in UK as well called EGX, which I'm going to be going to, and that's in September. But last year, they didn't. They, bared, they had someone just selling toot. They literally had people selling special editions of ARK. No one was there from the community, the team, or the dev team at all. So what do you think about that? Is that right? Are you really hyped about seeing a reveal trailer for Extinction in a couple of weeks' time at E3? What do you really think about the idea it's under the theme of archaeology? It does seem a bit like, why are they doing the archaeology theme? It must tie in. Maybe it's to do with the game. Extinction is meant to be set on Earth, and Earth has been under, you know, problems, duress, some sort of issue which made everyone go to the arcs, general theory, you know, that's generally where it's most considered we, we left for the arcs. But we're not 100% sure. Maybe uh, the Earth is like just one big fossil area for us to go and dig up artifacts and dig up resources. And maybe that's where we'll unlock different types of engrams. It won't be a case of leveling up. It'll be a case of finding stuff and digging stuff up. That's really speculative. Really speculative. There are some really good theories all around. And, you know, if you listen to them too long, oh, my God, you'll end up being in a twilight zone. But I think that's a pretty decent bit of news talking about it really and the fact that we have got definitely some sort of idea we are going to be getting the reveal trailer at E3. Now it does say here Nintendo Switch there will be gameplay or it will be available to play at the E3 conference. So I imagine that's going to be with the partners or that will be part of the Nintendo Switch branch. I mean I could be wrong maybe they are going to have a development team there but I've just not seen anything from the exhibitors when I go to the E3 website saying that they're going to be there anyone from Wildcard. So really speculative, maybe not worth really mentioning too much, but I think it's still exciting to know that we're going to get the trailer for sure at E3, which is pretty much a given. But also this idea that we're going to have summer events and we're not maybe going to get Extinction at the beginning of summer. If you don't know, Extinction was meant to have come out in spring. Obviously, we're in the last days of spring now. The start of summer officially begins on June 1st. So when we expect to see that, I presumed it would come very early in the summer, but it's looking increasingly likely we might not get to August, maybe even September. I really hope not. If it's that long before we get the DLC, I really worry that we're just not going to have the amount of player base or the amount of interest in it as much. But yeah, there you go. Could they do a stealth launch at E3? Highly unlikely, but they are shutting down a bunch of servers on the 12th of June. Could they be making the DLC not come until way late in the summer? Possibly, by the sounds of it. There is meant to be a community crunch. I told you guys every week I'm going to be going over the patch notes and the forums um, and the community crunch weekly newsletter and showing anything that's new. But it didn't appear last yesterday and so it's looking likely it's going to appear later on today. The dev team have said one is coming. So if there's anything really exciting about that, I will do another video tomorrow about it. But there you go. Let me know what you think about Extinction. What do you want from Extinction? I done this video last month asking what Extinction needs for me. A lot of you were critical saying that I was a bit overly harsh, saying that there's lots of story in the game. So to you guys, some of you guys, you think there's lots of story with the explorer notes, etc. And plenty of you said as well you was quite happy with the, the amount of creatures in it and the new mechanics and it had all the creatures that were implemented had brand new abilities. But for me, it's still not far enough. I want, I want something real, I want something big, I want something huge. It's going to be the final DLC for Ark Survival Evolved. It would be amazing. Imagine if every single creature in the game was different. Imagine if everything you knew about, you know, surviving in Ark Survival Evolved was different. Imagine if it was a Battle Royale game and you went and dug up your weapons. You would literally have to land and then spend a couple of seconds digging stuff up. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But, you know, you get the idea. But yeah, if you've not watched that video, go and give it a watch. Let me know what you think about it. And sure ahead, disagree with me. Give me your full input of what you really think Extinction needs. I am Joe Plays Games. This has been just a short, quick one talking about Ark Extinction coming. Hopefully, confirmation we're getting an E3 reveal trailer. And looking likely, we may not get the actual DLC until maybe the end of summer. For all the information about your favourite games, make sure you've got notifications turned on and you're getting daily, daily uploads from me, not just occasional notifications. And like my videos, guys. Come and join the Discord and you can get ahead of information just like that when they posted it earlier. Well ahead of the curve, well ahead of, ahead of other YouTubers and even me. Until next time, Ratbags, I'll see you later.